former advisor to Margaret Thatcher and director of Heritage Foundation's Thatcher Center for Freedom, Niall Gardner. Niall, great to see you again. Thank you for being here. The president last night and Secretary of State Blinken just today uh, were claiming credit for, for bringing together the nations united, whether it's NATO or an even larger group, against Russia. Uh, do they deserve that credit? Well, thank you for having me on the show uh, tonight, uh, David. And uh, I watched um, all of uh, President Biden's State of the Union address uh, speech last night. Uh, I have to say, uh, I wasn't very impressed by his speech. Uh, this was not a, a sort of Reagan-esque rallying of the free world. I, I thought it was actually a very boastful uh, speech, uh, quite insensitive in many respects because of the tremendous... Um, you know, tragedy unfolding on the ground right now in, in Ukraine with Russian tanks approaching not only the capital city of Kyiv, but multiple other Ukrainian cities. This is a grave crisis. And, uh, you know, Biden was approaching this as some kind of victory lap yeah. when he did very little actually to deter a Russian invasion in the first place. I think that Biden's, you know, leadership on the Ukraine front has overall been too little too late. Uh, he's been very weak need in many respects in facing uh, you know, the tremendous evil of Putin's uh, Russia. Uh, and uh, I thought his uh, speech last night actually was distasteful in, in parts. It, it didn't have a sense of urgency or a recognition of the tremendous gravity of the situation right now. Tens of millions of Ukrainians are facing uh, the possibility of a Russian occupation. And there are no limits to the evil that Putin and his regime are capable of here. This is an incredibly dangerous uh, situation, a dangerous moment for the free world. I don't think that Joe Biden uh, is the, uh, you know, has the kind of strength of character uh, and courage and leadership actually to lead the free world at this moment. And that was reflected amply, I thought, in his very poor State of the Union speech uh, yesterday evening well, on Capitol who, Hill. Well, who does? I mean, we clearly, the, the good news, and, and there's so little of it, because as you mentioned, it was kind of a, a distasteful victory lap when, when the people of Ukraine are about to, to be subject to, to horrible uh, cruelty by the Russians. We've seen what happens with the Russians in, in places like Syria when they go in there and, and uh, create enormous damage. They target civilian populations, and it, it, it seems that that's where they're going. But at the same time, the noose is tightening around Russia. Their co economy is about to fall apart. Uh, is it conceivable that that pressure might stop Putin before he goes too far with these atro atrocities that we fear? Well, that's a great question. And certainly the sanctions that are being uh, put in place uh, will have an impact. Uh, but they will take time to, uh, to take effect. They, they won't stop Putin in the immediate uh, term. And also, it should be pointed out that, that in Biden's State of the Union address, he did not talk about uh, the kinds of deep-seated energy sanctions that should be applied against the Russians. He did not make a pledge to stop buying Russian oil. And so U.S. money uh, is actually helping to uh, fund... Uh, the Russian invasion right. of Ukraine through the purchase of Russian oil. And so, you know, Biden, uh, you know, basically did not address some of the biggest, I think, sanctions uh, that should have been put in place by his uh, administration. Uh, and, you know, without a doubt, um, you know, Putin is proceeding full scale with his invasion of Ukraine. It will be an occupation. My concern is that this will lead to ethnic cleansing and also genocide in the country. Uh, and concern. you know the stakes are incredibly yeah. high, and there is no limit to the evil uh, that Putin is capable of here. And we could see mass killing, concentration camps, all of this. The sanctions that Biden has put in place are not going to stop that. Actually, yeah. uh, Ukraine needs more defensive weaponry. It needs all kinds of support from you know from the West. Actually, that Biden did not go into any detail talking about last last night. Actually, and so I was very very disappointed. This was not some kind of you know, Churchillian moment by, by Joe Biden. This was quite the opposite, actually. Well, the only uh, Churchillian I, I the... moments are, are being played out in Ukraine right now uh, by, by the leaders of Ukraine who've shown an enormous amount of courage to face, yes. face the onslaught. We, I, we, I have to invite you back uh, to talk about China because we've clear run out of time. But Niall Gardner, great to see you, my friend. Thank you great so much for being too, here. Dave.